A movie commentary focuses on feelings and attitudes. Bird and insert. The sun rises slowly. The shining through sparse foliage. At the beginning, this is a delicate and beautiful novel. Kicks off a classic love story. Like an oil painting. It explains the life background of the Bennett family. It also depicts the beautiful scenery of the British countryside. Longing for the free inner world with the heroine Elizabeth. The Bennett family has five daughters. Sadly, at that time, the UK implemented a law of inheritance restricted to male heirs. Female have no right to inherit the family property. The girl's marriage has become Mrs. Bennett's biggest concern. The ancestor of the Nigerfeld garden near Bennett Manor. Undoubtedly breaks the peace of Bennett's family. Mr. Bentley who ran to the Nigerfeld garden is a standard tall, rich, and handsome. At the public ball, Dottie falls in love at the first sight with the oldest of Bennett's daughter, Jane. The Bennett family are happy for it. Especially Mrs. Bennett who is believing him to be a very suitable match for any of her daughters. That night, Bentley's friend, Darcy also attracts everyone's attention. He's more aloof, taciturn, and extremely wealthy than his friend. In Mrs. Bennett's artless and self-conscious way, wastes no time in introducing her daughters to Darcy. Elizabeth is very curious about him and invites him to dance. Unexpectedly she receives a cold reply. Darcy talks with his best friend Charlie. Accidentally she heard Darcy said that she is not beautiful enough to love at first sight. Suddenly, Elizabeth feels that man is really arrogant as the rumors. So she plants a seed of prejudice in her heart. Triggered the first dispute between the two. A few days after, Bentley invited Jane to dinner. Because of Mrs. Bennett, planned the cold in advance, she must stay a few more days until she recovers. Eliza worried for her sister, walks the long distance in the muddy roads then she meets Darcy. Bentley's sister, Caroline Carolyn shows her pretentious and aristocratic attitudes. Eliza couldn't help but sneer his arrogance. Triggered the second dispute between the two. On the occasion, while getting into the carriage, Elizabeth is shocked when Darcy takes her hand to help her into the carriage. Looking at the back of him turning away. She didn't notice his tense and stiff hands. Soon, Bennett's slumping calm breaks again. The dreaded cousin Collins comes to visit the Bennets. He's extremely shallow, pompous and attracted to influence and wealth. And engages in transparently foolish flattery. Dinner is very tense. The family sees right through him. He is ridiculed mercilessly by Elizabeth. The purpose of Colin's trip is to propose to Jane. But Mrs. Bennet is certain that Mr. Bentley will propose to Jane. And recommends Elizabeth to Collins. Elizabeth knows nothing about it. Later, she meets a handsome lieutenant named Wickham. While hanging out with her sister. Darcy looks at Wickham. Then he drives indifferently. Elizabeth is puzzled. Wickham says his father was the housekeeper of Darcy's. Darcy's father loves him just like his parents. Even he claimed in the will that he would give the post of parish priest to Wickham. Darcy had cheated him out of Darcy's father's generous bequest to him. He says it is all because of Darcy's jealousy. Elizabeth trusted Wickham's story. Her opinion of Darcy goes even lower. At the Bingley stands. Wickham doesn't attend. That makes the third dispute between Darcy and Eliza. It should be a romantic dance. During the dance, she engages an intense verbal battle with him. At the ball, Collins bowed his knees. Ask Mary to dance, to her great disgust. The family's impoliteness makes Eliza depressed. Eliza doesn't even think that after the ball. Mr. Bentley's family leave the Nigerfeld Gardens. Jane feels sad. This is all Bentley's sister Carolyn provoking. Encourage Jane to pursue true love and not give up. Eliza also doesn't even think Collins would suddenly propose to her. In the most pompous and conceited way imaginable. All the emotion stuck in her heart burst out and she utterly refuses. She doesn't even think that her best friend Charlotte and Collins are engaged. But after the shock. Gradually understand Charlotte. Not everyone is born romance. Not everyone has the ability to pursue romance. Charlotte is not wrong. She just bowed to reality. What happens in the Nigerfeld Gardens? Just like a dream. Elizabeth calmed down and visited Collins and her friend. Lady Catherine encountered Darcy again. This time, Darcy seems to be a different person. 
not only to relieve her in front of Mrs. Catherine, but also explain that, when they first met at the ball, his word doesn't come from arrogance, because of his introversion. After that, he takes the initiative to talk with her. That makes Eliza confused. Actually, Darcy has fallen in love with her. He doesn't restrain his emotions anymore. He proclaims his love for Eliza in the heavy rain. Saying that this is against his better judgment, and despite her inferior social rank. An extremely bitter confrontation ensues. Eliza denounces Darcy his haughty demeanor and, more importantly, for interfering with Jane and Bingley. Darcy explains that he did this because he believed that Jane was not really interested in the relationship. She also brings up Wickham's claim that Darcy had cheated him out of his inheritance. At nightfall, Darcy comes by and drops off a letter that he has written, she says nothing. Darcy explains that Wickham demanded and received the full principal then gambled it away and came back for more. Wickham also tried to elope with Darcy's sister and get her the money of inheritance. He had separated Jane from Bingley because he truly believed that he was helping his friend. Eliza returns home and is known by servants that he treats people kindly. But he never talks about that. One day, she peeks into a room and sees his tenderness hidden under the arrogance. Eliza begins to think that her earlier impression of him may have been wrong. This time, her feelings for Darcy is shaken. Just when Eliza doesn't know how to face Darcy, a shocking news comes from home. Wickham's old tricks. He eloped with Lydia, the youngest sister of the Bennet family. This huge scandal humiliated the Bennet. The family is totally devastated in that society. An incident like this brings ruin upon the entire family. None of them will be able to marry well, and they will lose the estate upon Mr. Bennet's death. The newlyweds then arrive for a visit. At lunch, Lydia lets slip what was supposed to be a secret that Darcy was at the wedding. And was in fact the one who had found her and Wickham. Lizzie realizes that Darcy had been noble and generous toward the Bennet family. And he must have been the one that paid off Wickham. With Wickham's slander, cheating on his sister, Darcy can watch this man in poverty all his life. But he saved reputation of the Bennet. She realizes that her negative impression of Darcy had been wrong. Just before dawn, the confused Elizabeth gets up and walks on the narrow road. She looks like a lost princess. She meets Darcy, also going for a walk. The big cloak floats behind. Like a knight walking out from the rainforest. Every step is firm and steady. Darcy breaks through the arrogance and prejudice in the hearts of the two. He apologizes for his past behavior. And he hopes that Eliza might marry him. The sun is rising between them, she accepts. And ends with a long shot. Director Joe perfectly takes long shots in the movie. They have a perfect marriage which is based on true love. Compared to the status and appearance, she pays more attention to the spiritual character. Like Jane and Bentley. Elizabeth and Darcy. It is extremely romantic in a society where men are inferior to women. Elizabeth is like the incarnation of the writer. Dare to pursue. Dare to refuse. Dare to break the prejudice of the world. At the end, under the light, he gently kisses Elizabeth again and again. And also calls her Darcy's wife. Thanks for listening.